What is that? <laughs> it's the same unit as before, but it has a monkey head. We're back, we're playing Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. We're looking at the Starling Red mod today, right? Now this is actually a mod for the old version of Tamps. If you want to grab this one, you've got to grab the old version as well. Now this is one of the first cards we're going to be able to look at. This is the Weaponsman unit. He's one of the units in, he's, I think he's in like the tribal section, all right? This is a massive mod. This is an absolutely huge mod. It adds like some units to like the different, you know, existing factions. But then there's also some secret ones as well, like AK-47s and stuff. I'm gonna work my way through, check out these guys. All right, weaponsman, throw your axes, champ. What? You're throwing the axes at his knees. Are you serious? He's trying to take out the legs. That's what he's trying to do. Chop the legs off, and then he can't run away. He just got him right in the nuts. Yeah, look at that. That is an axe right between the legs. That that guy's never having kids. <laughs> Ever. So we got Hunter, right, which is basically just a dude with a spear. We've got the Club Master, which is like a clubber with two clubs. Got the Mammoth Rider at the back here. Archer riding on a mammoth, that's pretty cool. Wood Collector, I don't know what that guy does. He's got like a stone hatchet. And then we got Tribal Warrior, which is like, he's got a shield and a spear. Okay, I'm gonna put those up against the new units from, where's the next one? Ancient, here we go. We've got Centurions, Spartan Hoplites, Roman Legionary. So none of these guys have guns. I think some of the secret units have guns. Which is going to be really cool to see. Oh, these guys are pretty cool. Dude has a sword and a spear. That is going to get really tricky to use at the same time. And then we've got Apollo at the back here. Which is just like an archer. But I have a feeling this Apollo is going to be like some crazy champ. Alright guys, get involved. Yep. Old mate back here, Apollo, is just like nailing them with the, uh, with the bow and arrow at the moment. Just destroying them. He is so accurate, and those arrows are like super hard. They shoot super fast. It's like a gun. He's like a sniper, that fella. Oh, look at this bloke. Yes, go tribes guy. Show him your backflips. No, no. <laughs> he finally died. Poor fella. Let's just have a quick look at how tough Apollo is. I'm going to stick Apollo right there up against like maybe, I don't know. Maybe some potion sellers? Let's just see how he is. Alright, nailed him. Oh, you missed! No, whoa! Look at the knockback on that thing! Oh, that is cool. <laughs> it just sent him flying! Is that- why does he have three arrows stuck in him? Does this dude fire three arrows at once? Let's check this out. Do you fire three arrows? Oh, he does! Wow! No wonder it smashes him! Oh, that one got him. Now he's flying back. Alright, the arrows are coming in! This guy can't even see him! <laughs> he can't see straight at all, and there he goes. He looks like an older version of Morty from Rick and Morty, doesn't he? He's got that Morty look about him. Same like hair and everything. They could totally just recolor this guy to be Morty, and there you go, you'd have Morty. I reckon Apollo, completely beefed up with some cheerleaders, would be amazing. Just gonna just mow down so many halflings. That's 150 halflings. One of them barely has a head. Look at this guy. <laughs> okay, it's 149 and a half halflings. Go, go dude. Look at this fella. Look how fast he's gonna be firing these arrows. Whoa, nice. Yes! Whoa! That dude is incredible! <laughs> He's just, just taking him out! That is so cool! Yep! You did it! You did the thing! Nice one, Apollo! Good on you, champ! He is a very awesome unit. He's probably too awesome for this game! So these are the new units that have been placed in the Vikings faction. We've got Thor, alright. Every good mod needs like a Thor. <laughs> There's so many mods with Thor in. Then we've got this guy, Kanunga. I don't think that's a real word. Then we've got Marauder, all right, which is basically just like a dude with giant axes. They look like berserkers, but their axes grew really long. They thought, hey, how can we make a berserker better? 
We'll just give him a bigger axe. Easy. Look at this. Berserker, it's the same. It's just a bigger axe. <laughs> oh, and he got a slightly upgraded helmet. Nice. Look at the axe on the Marauder, though. Those things are massive. How does that dude even see? He's not going to be able to see anything. He's got a giant shield. We've got Warhammer, which is just like a guy with a giant hammer. And then we've got War Axe. So those axes and those axes over here, they're custom models. They weren't in the game at all. This mod adds its own models. That's how good this mod is. We're on to the secret units now. These are the new secret ones. We've got Mosin Nagent or Nagant. I don't know what that is. It's a dude with a rifle. Look at this guy. It's a straight up soldier. You would think that if you were to send this guy here back in time to fight some Vikings, you'd think his rifle would be pretty awesome. I mean, I don't know. Looks like a bolt action. He should be able to reload that thing fairly quickly. I mean, not a lever action, sorry. Before all you guys get in the comments and like, Finn, this is not a bolt action, champ. I know that. It's a lever action. <laughs> all right. So, can this guy defeat some Vikings? Let's see what happens. Shoot him. Are you shooting him? Shoot him again. This is in slow-mo, by the way. Oh, did that guy reflect it? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Look out. Thor's gonna smack you in the face. The rifle could not defeat Thor. Of course. What about if we have, like, you know, like a whole army of these soldiers just shooting them? All right, there we go. What? Thor is just like, no, nah, I'm not having any of you crap. It just like deflects the whole lot and then just starts whacking everybody with his lightning hammer. Yeah. Get him with Mignogna. <laughs> Get him. What? Oh, now the soldiers are back flipping. Soldiers can't do that. That's not a move that soldiers have in their move repertoire, but apparently these ones can. Backflip. Yeah, backflip down the way. Oh, that was a cool backflip. If you don't keep backflipping, dude, you're going to die. Nice. Nice. What? What? Are you serious? The soldiers won. Oh my god, I had no idea that was going to happen. I thought they were done for. Now let's try the Soviet flag bearer. That guy just has a flag. It's just a flag. How is he going to do anything? I guess that's why he's worth 560. Same army, flag bearer this time. Nah, nah, he's not gonna win. <laughs> he's dead already. All right, let's ramp him up. Let's put a fair few of these flag bearers. They're very patriotic. They love the flag. You know what it reminds me of? And this is like, no offense to flags, <laughs> but it reminds me of the little like skewer. They, they put in like a steak. To say, well done, or medium rare, or whatever it is. That's what it looks like. They're winning, though! They smashed the Vikings! Oh, no. Thor just jumped on that guy's face! With his bum! Straight on there with his bum! And just killed him. Lightning came from his bum, I'm pretty sure. Alright, come on. Keep going. Get him, Thor. I'm rooting for Thor for some reason. Come on, dude. Oh, oh, just get in there! Get in there! Have one good swipe with Mignogna! <laughs> I'm sure I'm saying that wrong, but it doesn't matter. Come on, get in with your steak stab things. Oh, get wrecked! Who died? Who died? Oh, Thor! Smashed him! Good on you. Let's change this up. Let's put some ice giants in there. My favorite, the ice giants. And let's give him just some riflemen. <laughs> Some Mosin agents. I have no idea what that word is. <laughs> it doesn't matter. All right. Communist peasant. Radio. He's got the thing from the flag. See that? It's like the hammer and the, the sickle type thing. I don't know what it is. I really don't know my history, all right? <laughs> Just leave me alone. Get involved. If any of you want to give me a history lesson in the comments, though, in a very non-aggressive manner, by all means. These guys aren't very good. But I see he's taking the hammer to the ice giant's nuts. And it wasn't very effective. Alright, we need to ramp him up. We need a lot more. A lot more smashing power. Go on. 
Build like a, a something. Stop like using your hammer to kill people and build like a barn or something useful. Or a McDonald's or Hungry Jacks. Okay, yep, yeah, no, they still all died. They're not great. They're really not a good unit. Communist monkey. What is that? <laughs> it's the same unit as before, but it has a monkey head. It, I think it's just worth the same. I'm not gonna bother. Monkey though, what's this guy? Okay, so it's... These ones have swords. Maybe they'll do better with swords against the ice giant. Let's just try. Right. They're getting smashed by the dudes with the guns. Come on, come on, come on. Stab him. Stab him good. No. This is actually becoming like a formidable sort of army. These guys are pretty tough. Oh, nice. Super Boxer. Super Boxer was one of my favorite units from like, you know, the previous like several generations back of tabs. They've added him to this mod. That is so cool. All right, we will get to him. We're working our way through. Like I said, we've got the shotgun guys now. I'm just gonna put some shotgun guys in just to see if these guys can actually take down the uh, the ice giant. All right, go. Take him out. Take him out. Shoot him. Yeah, he's dead already. Nice. No, the soldiers are going down as well. Yeah, smashing him. You can't beat the shotgun. Shotgun is way better. Oh, look at that. You can actually see the bullets. <laughs> it fires, right? It's not a shell that fires like a bunch of pellets. It's like a gun that fires like a bunch of bullets. It's not how that works, but that's fine. Details. Oh, I've changed the map to this one. I enjoy this map. All right, I like it because there's a bridge and there's a river and you can like bottleneck stuff through. I think it's pretty awesome. All right, so we've got a thief. <laughs> Look at this dude. That gun is way too big for him. I'm gonna put a thief up against a thief just to see what these guys do. Oh, it's gonna be like a race to see who can actually shoot the other one first. Who died? This guy. This guy got shot. It was like round over before he even hit the ground. Go again. <laughs> <laughs> he died again. <laughs> you need to be a better shot there, Blue. Whenever I play a game with guns, everyone's like, that's not an AK-47, that's not an LMG, that's a MK-5 or something like that. What is this gun? Is that an AK-47? You guys will be able to tell me. There's always someone in there, nah, it's not an AK-47. It's a uh, something else, some other gun name that I don't know because I'm not a gun person. Again, you would assume that if you put this guy back in time to fight some farmers, some ye old farmers, and some guys stuck in hay bales, and some hobbits, and a king, you think you'd be able to do it with an AK-47, or whatever that gun is. Let's find out though. Let's do it. Start. Shoot him. Shoot him. All right, yeah. He's walking backwards though. That's a bad idea. You should probably stay put. Dude, you are gonna fall off the map. You're gonna fall off the map. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> He's dead. Okay. So that's how that battle would go. I think we need to move him up a little bit. Maybe like there. And maybe we could use something to keep him in place. Like a shield bearer or two. Just at his back, you know what I mean? To like stop him from moving through. There we go. Let's see if that works. No, he's just pushing through him. Oh, there we go. No, no. He's still moving back. And I think he's killing his mates. Yeah, he just shot them all. <laughs> it's like the gun is just too much for him to handle. And it looks like he's got his belt way too tight. Come on, shoot the king. Shoot the king. No, no, there he goes. <laughs> he's gone. See, buddy? I still want to know how awesome this guy would be, though, if he had, like, a stack of cheerleaders cheering him on. Oh, nice one. He's on his back now. He's turned into a tornado man, and he's just firing bullets everywhere. <laughs> no, don't kill the cheerleaders. Don't do it. Did... Oh, he won. Yeah, good on you, dude. Nice work. 
Yeah, I'm proud of him a little bit. Okay, so we've got regular boxer. All right, before we move on to super boxer, we're going to try just the regular boxers. All right, and see how these guys go. These guys look very cool. Look at them. Look at their giant fists. All right, punch them. Punch them all. Let's see if they last against all these other units. No, no, they're dead. They're super dead. That's why we need the super boxer. Come on, dude. It's time for you to step up. Now, this guy's worth four and a half thousand, and he's got glowy gloves. This guy's amazing. All right, go on, punch him. We've got to see this in slow-mo, because we need to see the punches to see how epic they are. All right, yeah, yeah, He's punched that guy. The guy's still living. Why is he still alive? Oh, he's, he's, okay. He's knocked out several already. He just uppercut that guy into the air. Whoa, the halflings are stacking on him. But he's still punching. He's still going. Is he going to be any match for the king, though? The king has, like, tried to sweep the legs. The super box is still punching on. Oh, nice. Come on, dude. Yes. Yes. Keep punching. Oh, no. The gloves are off. The gloves literally, like, flew off. That's pretty cool. <laughs> But he died. Okay. We need to see how a giant army of boxers would go. This has to happen. Versus a fire snake. Fire snake's not worth much. What about several fire snakes, though? Oh, are you serious? Look at them all. That's so many fire snakes. There's so much mess going on right now. I can't actually see who's winning. This is a bad idea. I have, like... Unit regret. <laughs> I shouldn't have chosen that unit. Okay, okay, I see what's going on. All right. Yeah, they, they, they beat him. They beat him. The boxers managed to kill a bunch of fire snakes. What about an ice giant, though? What about, like, is that like a hundred? It's probably about a hundred. Hundred boxers. It's maybe it's 80 <laughs> versus the ice giant. Yeah, punch him, dudes. Wow. He died, like, almost instantly. I want to see how good Apollo is, right, when he's being cheered on by a full-on cheer squad. Now, the cool thing about Apollo, I don't know if you noticed, he doesn't have recoil, so he doesn't go flying back. He stands his ground, and he just, like, smacks everybody with arrows. Let's see how good he is against the super boxes. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Wow. Wow. That is intense. That is... Okay, yep. Those super boxes, man. <laughs> Those things are good. They are very good. What about if we had some fan bearers to try and, like, keep them back a little bit? Is that something that would work? Maybe? With the fan bearers? No, no. It's like a wave that just comes in like a tsunami and just destroys everybody. Man, they're awesome. All right, that's the Stalingrad mod. If you guys want me to check out some more mods, let me know in the comments below. Like, if you know of any mods, let me know in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked it, give us one of these ones. I'll see you guys next time.